I'm Robert Salmon. I'm here at the HIMSS 2013 conference with uh, longtime uh, colleague and, and friend Jim Knob, editor of Radiology Today. Jim, um, you've uh, been coming to HIMSS for a few years now. Radiology Today has been a long-standing resource for people in the radiology community and I'm sure will continue to be. As you spend time here at this healthcare IT focused show, what do you think people in the radiology community would want to take away from this as far as, you know, how is radiology going to continue to connect to the enterprise and while there's an awful large focus here on electronic medical records and and IT architecture what do you see as something that the radiology community would want to keep in their forefront as you spend time here at this show? I think in the time I've been to HIMSS, um, radiology IT kind of left the radiology space and joined the larger hospital IT space. Okay. Um, primarily delivering their reports, their images, their data out onto the enterprise-wise network. I think we're starting to see the beginnings that some of that information might be flowing back to the radiology departments okay. in a better way in the near future. Um, time and time again, you'll hear radiologists talk about, you know, I have these images, if I had a better patient history, if I had um, more details, medications, all of that kind of data on patients that may exist in an EMR or an EHR, that having that information at my workstation when I'm interpreting exams could help me better interpret those exams. And frankly, I think that's a fledgling proposition now, but I think it is coming and will kind of even up the give and take of data and information and usefulness from the radiology department to the enterprise. I think it will start working its way back. I think that's the biggest thing that radiology department should be looking for in this interaction um, and pressuring. That's the kind of kind of question they should be going to their vet and say, I want to be able to get something back. Help me do that. Okay. Good, good insight. Uh, one more question. Are you able to um, provide some insight on, on what you think? And there's probably a lot of challenges facing the radi radiology community or radiologists. What do you think is one of the bigger challenges that that profession faces in kind of the new world order? IT-wise? Yes. Um, I think IT needs to be more robust across the networks because there is increasingly radiologists not on site reading things. If you can't walk down the hall to consult with someone, you need the technological means to do so. And in some places that's very good, but in a lot of places where it's very good, that's a company, an organization that went out and did that work themselves. I think as those products become routinely available for the, you know, the Main Street USA Hospital, mm -hmm. which is Radiology Today's core reader, as, that's, as those become off-the-shelf tools, so to speak, or more readily accessible tools, so to speak, it will help organiz radiology organizations everywhere compete better. But that's a, that's a tall order, and solving that problem, being able to communicate with everyone who you are involved with, that's going to be the key to be success. The day of just sending a report and an image is not going to be as successful as it was, in my opinion. Sure. Thanks. Thanks again for taking a few minutes. I know you're, you're a busy guy. We really appreciate your insights and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you for having me.